students, welcome to an English language lesson. This lesson is for Form 3. For today's lesson, the theme is Health and Environment. We are doing Unit 12. The topic is The Body Beautiful. The contents, we have learning standards, speaking and writing. Let's look at the learning standards. Main skills, speaking. 2.1.4 Explain own point of view and writing 4.1.5 Organize sequence and develop ideas within short text on familiar topics and 4.2.3 Produce a plan or draft of two paragraphs or more and modify this appropriately independently. Now for complementary skills. Speaking 2.1.1 Paraphrase short simple text and writing 4.1.3 Summarize the main points and explain key details in of a story, text or plot. Dear students, 10 of the weirdest and wackiest facts on the human body. 10 of the weirdest and wackiest facts on the human body. Fill in the blanks with suitable answers. 1. Your eyes blank around 20 times a minute. That's over 10 million times a year. 2. Your blank never stop growing. 3. The only muscle that never tires is the blank. 4. Blank is actually a type of sweat. 5. The body has 2.5 million blank pores. 6. Every minute you shed over 30,000 dead skin blank. 7. If you blank to age 70, your heart will have beat around 2.5 billion times. 8. The blank is covered in about 8,000 taste buds, each containing up to 100 cells helping you taste your food. 9. The average blank produces about a cupful of nasal mucus every day. 10. You are about 1 cm taller in the morning when you first blank up, than when you go to bed. Dear students, let's look at the answers. Number 1. Your eyes bleed around 20 times a minute. That's over 10 million times a year. Number two, your ears never stop growing. Number three, the only muscle that never tires is the heart. Number four, ear wax is actually a type of sweat. Number five, the body has 2.5 million sweat pores. Number six, every minute you shed over 30,000 dead skin cells. Number seven, if you live to age 70, your heart will have beat around 2.5 billion times. Number eight, the tongue is covered in about 8,000 taste buds, each containing up to 100 cells helping you taste your food. Number nine, the average nose produces about a cup full of nasal mucus every day. And number 10, you are about one centimeter taller in the morning when you first get up or wake up than when you go to bed. Dear students, the next lesson is for speaking. For speaking, you have to work with a partner and answer these questions. Do you ever feel tired or lack energy? Why do you think that is? Do you enjoy physical activity or would you rather watch TV or use a tablet or computer? Do you ever feel tired or lack of energy? Yes, I do. Why do you think that is? I feel tired when I don't have enough sleep. Normally it is due to I am on my computer and smartphones until bedtime, so my brain is not yet ready to go to sleep. This leads me to stay up too late, which makes me too tired the following day. Do you enjoy physical activity, or would you rather watch TV, or use a tablet or computer? I enjoy physical activity. Why? We as young children should be active every day, to promote our healthy growth and development. Dear students, look at the list of ideas related to caring for your body. Put a tick next to the ones which are good for you and a cross next to the ones which are bad. Compare the 
answers with a partner. So let's look at the good ones. So we have eating lots of fruits and vegetables, exercising three or more times a week, brushing your teeth three times a day, drinking lots of water, and riding your bike to school or work. And let's look at the bad ones. Watching a lot of TV, sleeping for five hours a night, and eating fast food. Now for exercise C, work with a partner. Student A describes photo one and student B describes photo two. Remember to listen to each other's descriptions. Let's look at the exam close-up. Interacting with your partner. Remember to listen carefully to the instructions before you start. When you are asked to talk about a topic with your partner, make sure you interact with him or her. Ask him or her your opinion on the topic and react to the answers. Remember, you have to ask your partner's opinion and then you have to reply. Okay? Say if you agree or not and give your reasons. It's a good idea to ask your partner questions to get more information and to keep the conversation going. Let's look at the useful expressions here. Talking about health and fitness. So, what do you do to stay healthy? Do you do anything special to stay fit and healthy? How often do you exercise? How often do you go to the gym? Do you go swimming? Do you play any sports? Do you think it's important to? Why? Do you have enough time to? Why not? So, what do you do to stay healthy? Well, I recently started attending a cooking class for teenagers. We are taught how to choose healthy ingredients and also cook simple meals. I find the class interesting. Young learners can master the art of cooking in a productive learning environment. And, even if down the road we change your minds and choose another career path, there are other benefits of cooking classes for kids that will be useful throughout our lives. Do you do anything special to stay fit and healthy? Yes, I do. I like to play fun activities with my friends during the weekends. We often organize trip to the park or the seaside. We play football, tug of war and water sports like swimming and canoeing. All these require you to move your body, and it's a commonly known fact that exercise is good for your health. Physical activity helps control weight, combats health conditions and diseases, improves mood, boosts energy and promotes better sleep. Speaking, Unit 12, page 153, D. The photo shows young people doing different things to take care of their health. Now, I'd like you to talk together about what you do to take care of your health and how often and where you do this. What do you do to take care of your health and how often and where do you do this? I take care of my health by doing several things. Firstly, I take balanced meals with the right amount of carbohydrates, proteins, fruits and vegetables which are vital for a healthy lifestyle. Next, I make sure that I do regular exercise that will not only keep my body trim and fit, but it will also reduce the risk of developing heart disease and diabetes. Brisk walking and walking up the stairs instead of using the lift are good forms of exercise. Health experts recommend that an individual exercise at least three times a week with each session lasting for about 20 to 30 minutes. Therefore, I exercise on a daily basis for at least 30 minutes per day. It does wonders for my health. I normally exercise at home with my family members or join my friends for a game of football in the evening. In addition, sleeping for about 7 to 8 hours a day is important. Doing so will help my body replenish itself. Lack of sleep often make me feel tired. It will also affect my concentration. I also make sure that I take part in recreational activities. There should be a balance between work or study and leisure. Remember, all work and no play makes lack a dull boy. Dear students, let's continue with vocabulary. For vocabulary, today you're going to learn phrasal verbs. First exercise. In the following exercise, two of the options given are used with each verb in bold to make a phrasal verb. For each question, cross out the option that cannot be used with the verb in bold. 
So here we have back. So you have three options, back away, back over, back out. So you have to cross out the option that cannot be used. So the answer is over. Number two, hand, hand over, hand against or hand out. So the one which is wrong is against. Number three, head, head together, head for or head off. So the wrong answer is head together. Okay, number four, we have run out of, run over or run off. The wrong answer is, or the wrong option is off. Okay, number five, think. So think over, think around or think up. So here you have the options. Okay, which one is wrong? So the answer is around. And the last one, stand. Stand out, stand in, stand, stand across. So the wrong answer is cross. Yes, students, now complete the sentences. So there are 12 sentences here with words from A. Number one, if you run breath, stop exercising until you feel better. So the answer is run out of breath. Number two, they started to back as soon as the smell hit them. So they started to back away. Number three, I'm going to hit now. I've got a dentist appointment soon. Answer is, I'm going to head off now. Number four, I knew Jenny would back coming jogging with me. She hates it. So I knew Jenny would back out of. Okay, next, number five, I need a new haircut that will make me stand. Answer is, stand out. Number six, you aren't allowed mobile phones in class. Hand it over. Paul got run by a car last week. He has got a broken arm and a bruised hip. So Paul got run over. If you hit the DVD shop, I'll catch you up in five minutes. So if you hit for the DVD shop. Number nine, they had to get another biology teacher to stand for hours when she was off sick. So answer is Stand in. Number 10, I'm trying to think an easy way to lose weight. Answer is, think up. Number 11, could you do me a favor and hand these leaflets about my hair saloon? Answer is, hand out. Number 12, please think my proposals for the beauty saloon. I think they'll improve business. So please think over. Next, for exercise C, complete the sets of sentences with the correct form of the phrasal verbs from A. Number one, if you come across an angry dog, from it slowly. So answer is, back away from it slowly. You can't, our deal. We shook hands on it. You can't, Back out of our deal. We shook hands on it. Number two, can you help me some way to plan the party without mom knowing about it? Can you help me think up some ways to plan the party? A B, let's her offer to help before we make a decision. Let's think it over. Okay, number three. Where is John going? It looks like he's the park. He's heading for the park. Well, I think we will better. So we had better heading off now or we'll be late for the meeting. So be careful. You have similar verbs here like head for or head off. So the phrasal word must be correct. Okay, number four. The race was nearly over and many of the runners had breath. So, run out of breath. B. Don't ride your bike in the road. You'll get. So, the answer. Run over by a car. Number five. 
she has gorgeous long blonde hair which really made her in a crowd so answer is stand stand out in the crowd our biology teacher was off sick so the PE teacher had to stand stand in for her okay number six stop right there thief the stolen money or will shoot so answer is hand over the stolen money or will shoot there's a man on the corner so answer is handing out leaflets for the new museums let's look at the ideas focus do you like to stand out in crowd why why not do you think you are good at thinking up new ideas why and why not dear students our next lesson is on writing dear students in this lesson you are going to learn to write a dramatic story let's read the learning focus making stories more interesting there are several ways to make your stories interesting interesting stories start with a dramatic opening sentence which will make the reader want to read on descriptive adjectives and adverbs help the reader to imagine the characters and the action you can also use some idiomatic expressions to make your writing more colorful direct speech and short dramatic sentences in places add variety and drama introducing a twist in the story in which something unexpected happens can add suspense finally an interesting ending to the story is also important now let's begin our exercises a match the ways of making your story more interesting so you have here one to eight okay, then you have the examples a to h so let's look at the first one descriptive adjectives dramatic opening sentence descriptive adverbs direct speech idiomatic expressions short dramatic sentence a twist in the story and the last one an interesting ending then you have the examples a unfortunately the two cousins have never seen eye to eye okay and b please don't leave me i promise i won't hurt you again she said today was a day when hannah was going to meet her sister for the first time he jumped quickly out of bed rushed downstairs and opened the door nervously like most teenagers hannah was independent and not very communicative he left the building with tears in his eyes that part of his life was over they had always been a loving family but one day something happened that changed changed that forever he stopped and stepped so let's look at the answers the first one descriptive adjectives which one is the answer the answer is d he jumped quickly out of bed rushed downstairs and opened the door nervously here you have quickly you have also nervously okay next dramatic opening sentence so the answer should be b today was a day when hannah was going to meet her sister for the first time number three descriptive adverbs So answer is E. Like most teenagers, Hannah was independent and not very communicative. Next, we have direct speech. So here you have the dialogue. Answer is B. Please don't leave me. I promise I won't hurt you again, she said. Next, idiomatic expressions. So you have answer is A. Unfortunately, the two cousins have never seen eye to eye. So the idiom is see eye to eye. Okay, next, short dramatic sentence. So the answer is H. He stopped and stepped. Next, seven, a twist in the story. So the answer is G. They had always been a loving family, but one day something happened, changed that forever. 
So this is a twist. And the last one, an interesting ending. So the answer is F. He left the building with tears in his eyes. That part of his life was over. For exercise B, read the writing task below and then answer the questions about it in your notebook. Your teacher has asked you to write a story. Your story must begin with this sentence. Sally was extremely nervous. So write in 100 words. Number one, how will, you, will your story start? How does Sally feel? Do you have to explain why she feels this way in the story? So let's look at C. Read the example story and underline techniques from A that make the story more interesting. So number one, let's look at the answer first. How will your story start? So with the given sentence, definitely you have to write, Sally was extremely nervous. And then how does Sally feel? She was extremely nervous or very nervous. And do you have to explain why she feel nervous? So the answer is yes. So let's look at the story. Yes, students. Here, you have to read the example story and underline techniques from A that make the story more interesting. So let's look at the story first. Sally was extremely nervous. It was their turn to dance. Sally breathed deeply while Maddie was completely relaxed. Come on, said Maddie. We've got to win. Maddie and Sally met at dance class a year ago. They quickly discovered they had a lot in common. When their teacher entered them in a competition, they were very excited. This was their big chance. However, when the music started, Sally froze. Maddie was angry but carried on. When the music stopped, Maddie headed for the door. Sally knew she had let Maddie down. Worst of all, she had lost a friend. So here, let's look at some of the techniques, descriptive adjectives. So here you have examples, extremely nervous, completely, or you have big chance, and also you have completely relaxed. Next, we have dramatic opening sentence. Definitely, it is dramatic because you have Sally was extremely nervous. Next, we have number three, descriptive adverbs. So you have here examples. Breathe deeply. Okay, next one you have quickly discovered. Okay, next we have direct speech. Yes, there are two here. Example, come on, said Maddie. We have got to win. So we have got to win is also a direct speech. Next, idiomatic expression. So the answer here is, they had a lot in common. Okay, next, short, dramatic sentence. So the answer is, this was their big chance. Okay, because this sentence is short and dramatic. Okay, next, a twist in the story. So normally it starts with, however. So however, when the music started, Sally froze. Okay, next, an interesting ending. So the answer is, worst of all, she had lost a friend. Dear yes, students, read the example story again and answer the questions. Number one, why does Sally feel nervous? Answer is, it was her turn to dance. Where did Maddie and Sally meet? Answer is, at a dance class. How did the girls react when their teacher told them about the competition? Answer is, they were very excited. Number four, which girl does something disappointing? Answer is, Sally. Number five, how does the other girl react? So answer is, Maddie was angry but carried on. 
Dear students, now mesh to complete the plan for the example story. Give background details about the character's relationship. Set the scene and introduce the main characters. And C. Introduce a twist in the story and bring the story to the end. So here you have the plan A, B, C. So there are three plans. So paragraph one should be B. Okay, this is set the scene and introduce the main characters. And then paragraph two, you have A. Next, you give the background details about the character's relationship. And in paragraph three, the last one, it is C. You introduce a twist in the story and then bring the story to an end. Next, exercise F. Look at the useful expressions and choose the correct answers. Number one, she was relieved to see that everyone looked very suspicious, embarrassing or friendly. So the answer is friendly. Can you, can I give you with your suitcase? So, can I give you a hand, an eye or an arm? So the answer is a hand. Number three, I don't find it easy to see eye to eye, respect or get on with new people. So answer is to get on. Okay, next, number four. We don't have a lot in trust, in friendship or in common. So the answer is in common. Number five. The two brothers grew apart, grew out, grew up for when they left home. So answer is grew part. Next, exercise G. Read the exam close up. Then read the exam task below and make a paragraph plan. So here we have the exam close up. Leaving enough time. In the exam, remember to leave yourself enough time to write the story. Try to decide quickly which question to do and then make a plan thinking of ideas and useful expressions for each paragraph. Leave a few minutes to check your writing at the end. Let's look at the useful expression for relationships. Friendship, stranger, trust, have a lot in common, not having a lot in common, make friends with, get on, give someone a hand, grow apart, help someone out. Let someone down, see eye to eye, embarrassing, friendly, suspicious, rely on and respect. Now, let's, this is the exam task. Complete the exam task. Remember to include techniques to make your story more interesting and to leave time at the end to check your writing. Your teacher has asked you to write a dramatic story. Your story must begin with this sentence. Alex was the best friend anyone could have. So write your story in 100 words. Alex was the best friend anyone could have. I was so upset the other day. My cat, Mia, had got stuck up a tree, and I had no idea how to get her down. The weather was so bad, it was very windy and rainy, and she looked so scared. Alex turned up as I was walking around the tree trying to figure out what to do. Suddenly, the tree started to move from side to side, and Mia slipped out of the tree. Luckily, Alex saw Mia fall and caught her. I'm so glad he was there. Alex was the best friend anyone could have. When I was 15, as a school prefect, I was involved in a rather unpleasant incident. A notorious bully was collaring a much smaller boy outside school when I interfered and warned him that I would have him reported if he did not stop at once. The bully did as he was told, but threatened he would set some delinquent boys on me. This piece of news startled me. I mentioned this incident to Alex as we were cycling back from school that day. Alex told me not to worry about the incident. The bully did bring some delinquents the next day after school. Alex, knowing that a fight was brewing, shouted loudly. Then, he rushed forward and stood beside me, ready to fight the thugs if necessary. His shouts also brought some other prefects and teachers to the scene. All the hoodlums turned pale for they were cowards at heart and slowly moved away. I had no trouble from the bully since, and I was proud of the way Alex had risked his neck for me. Dear students, let's continue with the lesson for the video. Dear students, let's start the 
lesson. So the title of the video is The Memory Man Before You Watch. So this is the first activity. How much do you know about the human brain? Look at the statements below and write T for true or F for false. Number one, the brain is the most complex organ in the body. So the answer is true T. Our brain sleeps when we sleep. Answer is F false. Number three, the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body and vice versa. So the answer is T true. Dear students, while you watch. So this is for exercise B. Watch the video and circle the words you hear. Gianni Galfera is blindfolded, but he can still show these people something that's amazing. The young Italian man calls it the art of memory. First, the people randomly choose 60 numbers. After that, a helper reads the numbers to Gianni. Then Gianni repeats the numbers in the correct order from memory. First in the order he heard them, then he does it again, backwards. It's a kind of memory that is connected to what I see. It means that every idea I learn, everything I read, becomes a part of me. Normally, a person who doesn't have this gift and who hasn't studied memory tends to just forget things, even an entire book. Not me. Gianni has a very special kind of memory. He has memorized more than 250 books. He also says that he can remember every detail of every day of his life from the time when he was less than one year old. Memory is very difficult to understand, and scientists don't really know how it works. The Golfera family genes may hold important information about Gianni's memory. Neurobiologist Dr. Antonio Magaroli plans to compare the Golfera family's genes with the genes of more forgetful families. The crucial question is to understand which is the contribution from heredity and which is the contribution that comes from the environment. When we process new information, such as reading a book or newspaper, it goes into our brains through the hippocampus. There, it's coded as memory. But how is memory coded? Where is it stored? Why is it stored there? Nobody knows. Nobody knows why some people lose their memories either, or why so few, like Gianni, never forget things. Researchers are now studying how memory and learning change the brain. They're also trying to match those changes to specific genes. Some research shows that a great memory may not depend on the right DNA. If you really need to use your brain capacity to store some kind of information, you have this, this ability and, you know, it's just a matter of exercise. The same idea is true for Gianni. His genes are only part of the story. Since the age of 11, he's been training his brain to remember. He practices continuously to improve the power of his memory. He has even memorized a whole series of historical books. For Gianni, improving his memory has become almost like a full-time job. Golfera has uh, an extraordinary ability. The question is, you know, how much it's really because of, you know, the Golfera family genes and how much comes from his sort of, you know, uh, maniac type of activity. Gianni's life is not all about science, though. He has a relatively normal life. He has a dog and a girlfriend. He likes to take time away from work. In other words, he's just like other people, and that's part of what's so interesting. His genes may be partly responsible for his great memory. However, researchers think that it's mainly because of his very hard work. Gianni agrees. He even offers proof. He holds classes to teach people how to improve their memories. His system involves organization and hard work, basically learning how to remember to remember. I think the only problem with memory is getting the correct order. There's a lot of brain space, so I think there are no limits. If there is a memory gene, Gianni Golfera probably has it. But the success of the memory man may be more about determination than DNA. Gianni's practice and hard work are making his memory even better. He might just be showing scientists that a great memory can be made and not just born. Now, let's go through the answers. Number one, the young Italian man calls it 
the art or ability of memory. So the answer is the art of memory. Number two is a kind of memory that is connects or connected to what I see. So the answer is connected. Number three, Gianni has a very special kind of gene or memory. So the answer is memory. Number four, researchers are now studying how memory and learning or knowledge change the brain. So answer is learning. Number five, he practices continuously to increase or improve the power of his memory. So the answer is to improve. Number six, if there is a memory gene, Gianni Govera probably or definitely has it. So the answer is probably. Yes, students, now this is the activity after you watch. C. Complete the summary of the video below using these words. So here you have correctly genes, information, memorized, memory, numbers, result, and wonder. Gianni Golfera is a man with a wonderful. So the answer is number one, memory. He can remember a lot of number two, information. In one experiment, people choose 60 numbers and someone reads the numbers to Gofera, who is blindfolded. Then after hearing them only once, Gofera sees the numbers. Answer is correctly from memory. After that, he sees the numbers again, backwards this time. And again, he does it perfectly. Bofera has memorized over 250 books and he can remember every detail of every day of his life. Doctors wonder why he has such a great memory. Is it because he received good memory genes from his family or is it the result of a lot of practice? Whatever the reason, Gofera is making good use of it. He teaches classes that help people remember to remember. So dear students, let's get the last part, the idea focus. Do you think it's important to study how the brain works? What is your reason? Why or why not? Do you have a good memory? Why or why not? Dear students, the last part of this lesson is the review. For the review, scan this QR code to answer. Dear students, we have come to the end of the lesson for today. Do remember to subscribe to my channel. It is called Educator Omni Tube. I am Madam Gan, signing off. See you in another English language lesson. Bye.